Good morning. The apostles were sure they would never fail. Jesus told them, you're going to fail. What actually happened? So we're in Mark 14. Here's verses 27 to 31. Then Jesus said to them, All of you will be made to stumble because of me this night, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep will be scattered. But after I have been raised, I will go before you to Galilee. Peter said to him, Even if all are made to stumble, yet I will not be. Jesus said to him, Assuredly, I say to you that today, even this night, before the rooster crows twice, you will deny me three times. But he spoke more vehemently, If I have to die with you, I will not deny you. And they all said, likewise. So as usual, when Jesus mentioned the scripture, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered, they all denied it. We won't. No, we're going to be fine. We're good to go. How little did they know themselves? Many of us don't really know ourselves until we really face a stringent spiritual test. And many times we fall flat on our face. It doesn't have to be that way. And it didn't have to be the way for these disciples. They would, would never run away. They would never fail Jesus. Of course not. A very hard lesson awaited them that dark and awful night. How quickly in the night with the torch-lit mob and the officials coming and the speaking, the things they must have been saying as they approached there to take Jesus by force, how quickly their brave resolve turned to fear and petrification, and how quickly they turned and they all fled down to the last one of them. Just two devotionals from this one. They're going to abandon Jesus right there in the garden. How psychologically delicate we are. How little we know ourselves. Jesus wants to prepare us for the large future tests that await our faith. Are we ready for that? Are we willing to let him prepare us? We want to be prayerful and committed to God's ways now so that when these tests do come, we'll be ready for them. In his strength, not in our strength, we'll be ready for these tests. It can be. It wasn't so for the disciples, but it can be for us. We can look back. We can get it right. We can nail it down because of we are told what happened here. It helps us. The Bible is a treasure. This is the book of life. So let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for the way you watched over the disciples. Thank you for the warnings that Jesus gave them, how needful they were, how little did they really know themselves. Here today and in these years in America, we Christians have had it pretty easy. We are not very deeply tested. Lord, help us to be growing in spiritual strength. Help us to be growing in faith day by day. Help us because it's very clear from the signs all around us that, that there are mighty shaking businesses happening in this world. Are we ready for it? Please, Lord, I don't believe we are. Help us to grow more ready by drawing close to you. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers today. Thank you for preparing a people for the soon return of Jesus. This we give thanks to you for in Jesus' name. Amen. May God help us to recognize the frailty and danger of trusting in our own weakness and give us the vision, give us the spiritual eyesight to know that we need to trust in him and in his strength so that we will have the help we need to go through these crazy times. God be with you today through this new day. If you're being blessed by these uh, devotionals, please uh, make a comment, subscribe, or do something like that. Put a like in there so that these can rise in the search ranks. Thank you so much.